In this video, which is part of our quick start guide for new players, we cover how to purchase and equip a new ship. If you've been following the Naval Gaming Quick Start Guide, by now you have earned some money with passenger missions and leveled up one rank so that you can now command 200 crew. The next step is to purchase and equip a 6th grade ship, which will be a significant step up from the basic brig you've been sailing. At your port in the capital, click on the Ship Auction button at the bottom of the screen. Next, click on Rank to search for Rank, ships, rank 6 Ships, then click on Search. You will now see a list of all the 6 rates available for sale in your nation. We are looking for a good, low-cost ship, and right here the lowest cost ship is a Rattlesnake, which is actually a good choice. The Trader Snow is also good. The mortar brig is just a novelty ship that's not good for our purposes. We are going to choose the rattlesnake for 36,000 reals. Next, we open up our ship's list at the bottom of the screen, then right click on the rattlesnake and make it our main ship. If we point the mouse at the six rate indicator, a card pops up that gives us the stats of the ship and there's a lot of information here which we won't be covering in this video. Next we click on the equip button. This is where we load guns onto the ship, add upgrade mods and knowledge books. To load guns on the ship we need to have the right number of guns of the right caliber in our warehouse. There are three types of guns, medium cannons, long cannons, and carronades. Medium cam cannons are plentiful and cheap. Long guns and carronades are crafted by players, so they're less plentiful and more expensive. We are going to load the biggest medium cannons our ship can take, which in the case of the rattlesnake is 18 six-pounders on the lower deck. Next we go to the shop by clicking on the button at the bottom of the screen and select medium guns. We can sort the list by the name to make it easy to find the six pounders. Then we enter the quantity 18 and confirm the purchase. Next, we click on the slot for the guns on our rattlesnake and see the 18 guns we just purchased in the warehouse and click on them to load them onto the ship. Next, we have our bow chasers, bow chasers which take two four-pounders. After all our guns are loaded, next we select the upgrade mods that we want to install on this ship. The number of upgrade slots is fixed at the time the ship is built. The best ships have all five slots, poor quality ships have only one slot. When we click on the slot, upgrades that we have in our upgrade chest and the warehouse will, will appear for selection. It's enti entirely up to you how you want to modify the ship. I, for example, prefer mods that increase the ship's speed and maneuverability. Upgrades are single use and cannot be changed without burning the mod once it has been added. Knowledge books, on the other hand, are unlimited in use and can be changed at no cost. Knowledge slots, however, have to be opened by gaining XP with the ship. Once you have loaded the guns, the mods, and the books, the next step is to load rum and repairs into your ship's hold. 
You need rum to restore crew on your ship during battle. Hull repairs stores restores your damaged hull, and rig repairs restore damaged sails. As a rule of thumb, bring rum equal to half your crew and repairs for five repair cycles. You can see how many repairs your ship uses per cycle in the stats card. The rattlesnake uses one repair per cycle, so I only need five repairs of each type. Once the ship is all loaded out, the last thing I need to do is make sure my ship has crew on board. If needed, hire additional crew to the maximum that I command, which is 200 in this case. Then assign all 200 to the ship. The rattlesnake can take 250 crew, so I'll be a little short crewed on this ship at 200. And that's it. Now I'm ready to leave port and go to battle with bigger ships. To learn more, go to navelgaming.com forward slash quick start for a complete quick start guide. Ahoy, Captains of Naval Action. My name is Jim Bursch and I am the developer of NavalGaming.com and my nom de guerre in-game is Marlin Spike. Massively multiplayer, open world naval action is more fun to play with other people. I've created Naval Gaming to help new players learn the game and facilitate playing as a team in the game. Naval Gaming is a website at navelgaming.com where you can lead and participate in operations and move up the ranks as an officer of Naval Gaming. The website is highly integrated with our Discord server where players can meet each other and play together in voice communication. Also here on our YouTube channel, we're producing videos including tutorials to help new players and experienced players alike. You're invited to join us at navelgaming.com or on Discord at discord.navelgaming.com.